Why hello there, I'm Roxtis. And I'm Sogale. And welcome back to Minecraft. We have a lot of kubu stone for blazes and creepers. Yeah. This episode, we are trying to do a common blaze farm known as the cube blaze farm, right? Yeah, that's what I would call it because it's just a giant cube. How well did it go? Horrible. <laughs> it went pretty horrible. It went horrible. Yeah. So we started out and we got our tools together, we got everything ready, we had a whole bunch of cobblestone all ready to put together and be able to build this blaze farm. And this is a common blaze farm that a lot of people use and have used in the past. But we ran into a problem. The lighting. The lighting, yeah. So we put five torches on the side of the spawner. And on the top and on the four sides, left, right, back, and front, yep. with a spawner. And that didn't cut it. No, it didn't. And upon further research, what did you find? Uh, glowstone supposedly supposed to work. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, because they still spawn. Yeah, and that's the highest light level that you can get out of a block. That is the highest light level, yeah. <laughs> So even with the highest light level being 15 off of glowstone, torches are 14, the blazes would keep on spawning even though we dug around the blaze spawner, started to put blocks around it, and we fought the, uh, the blazes for around a good two hours trying to get the box built. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get any sort of progress on that, and then we're just kind of like, you know what? Let's call it, step away for a moment, and then kind of come back to it. So during that two hours, 12 minutes, and 32 seconds, we lost a lot of iron, all of our cobblestone. Yeah. Lost a lot of our resources. But hey, we learned that you do not need a lot of blaze rods to get to the end. You only need 12 blaze rods yeah. really to get to the end. So. You don't need that many blaze rods to get that far. I mean, I would make a few extra, but that's just me. But that's just you, yeah. But to take the time to farm up that much cobblestone, to make the big box, to put the hoppers down, now the hoppers even too, when you're playing Minecraft, you do not have a lot of resources. You want to be able to kind yeah. of keep it simple and simplified when you're going through. You don't want it to be too complicated or to be making too many things because you don't you don't have a lot of resources, especially you're not in creative and you're not able to just slap down hoppers. And if you want to do a quick run and just to be able to get to the end. Yeah. During this entire run, it was just, we're fighting the blazes and we're trying to use too much resources and too much time and effort into something that really doesn't need that much time and effort. You only need to kill, you know, so many blazes to be able to get a hold of enough blaze rods. Yeah. Around 12 to be exact, to be able to get those into pearls, or to blaze powder, those blaze powders into pearls, and then those pearls to go and find the end. Yeah. So, yeah, especially with the hoppers, even the <coughs> hoppers, I could go on that too, where you need, I think it's like five iron. Two on the left side, two on the right side, and one below with the chest in the center. Mm -hmm. And that should be able to make a hopper. But if you have to make four hoppers for this common, this common blaze farm, you're using 40 iron. Or, uh, sorry, 20 iron, not 40, but 20. And the same thing with when we are using our, our iron for our helmets and everything. Mm -hmm. That takes a lot of iron. That takes 48 iron for both players. But even if you're a single player, that's quite a bit of iron and a lot of time. You have to go trying to find all that iron to be able to build what you need to build for your armor. Yeah. And especially if you're not on creative and you're just playing as a survival and you're just trying to go through and trying to get to the Ender Dragon, it's nice to pack and carry light and quick and easy versus trying to pack like a pack rat, mm -hmm. and you don't know what direction you're supposed to go. So it takes a lot of premeditated, oh, I need to go and get this here, and I need to go and get that there, and be able to just 
barely make it over the little hump yeah. to get to the next stage. So we were just using way too many resources to do this blaze farm, which we didn't really even need. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and especially with what you said, too, about the light levels. That was ridiculous when you went into testing and you were like, it doesn't yeah. even matter. Doesn't even matter about no. the glowstone. It used to be that they wouldn't spawn if you had torches on. It might have. The spawner. It, that's what it looks like from previous. I have never played and actually gotten to blazes before. I've never even gotten to the end before. I mean, I've played a little bit of Minecraft, but I haven't really gotten to the yeah. end. Or... So it's something that we didn't really know and we really <clears throat> haven't tested. And then when we actually yeah. got into it, we were like, Hold on a minute. We're dying a whole bunch. And this isn't really working. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely to test things out, uh, make sure they actually work. And if they're not working out, like they were they were keeping on spawning. They kept on throwing little fireballs at us. We kept on lighting our butts on fire. <laughs> yeah. We kept on dying. That wasn't a very good idea, but definitely to test out things before. And if it doesn't seem to be working, don't try to make it work. Work. It's kind of the definition of insanity. You're trying to make something work when it obviously doesn't. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get stuck in that mindset of, hey, I'm trying to do one thing and keep on failing because it's not doing what you want it to do. Yeah. So yeah, the definition of insanity. But our goal is still try to get the eye enders, trying to get the end, try to get a lot of blaze rods. Uh, we have a new blaze form idea. It's very much more simplified, but always testing before we do something to see how it will work or if it works, making sure that it works. And then, of course, we're just getting better. We're just starting out Minecraft. I've never really, like I've stated before, I've never really gotten to the very end of Minecraft. But, yeah. And I don't think you have either. No, I have not. So this will be kind of fun because then we'll just definitely uh, simplify our systems so that we're not trying to build such a big build, trying to go too far, do go too complicated. Yeah. We're trying to keep it simple. Like even with our farm earlier, our farm, I love that. I do too. The farm is a very simple build. You just put down a few blocks here and there and you just keep on going with it. And I love it because... It I'll have is. to get some trap doors and block up the water that way. Yeah, I got to see how that works too. Yeah, yeah. I, I can show you how it works. Yeah, so that's something we'll probably do in our next episode too, is keep on going with the farm. We got to get our iron back, a lot of our materials back as well. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in summary, plus two, I don't want you guys to have to watch through a two-hour episode, that's just what it was, a two-hour episode. It just saves you guys time so you don't have to watch us struggling through the whole episode. And as well for us, having to upload a video that takes two hours to watch is also too long to upload on our end. This would end up taking us, because we have pretty slow internet over here. Yeah. You know, the quickest. Yeah. It could be quicker. But it is kind of slow, right? it, it is very slow. Yeah, because even we'll have some server lag, and that might just be our internet. But it'll take at least a two day. I would think it would take at least two days. Probably two to days. To upload yeah. one episode. So we're trying to keep our episodes short and kind of to the point. So hopefully episodes, in the next episode we can get our resources back, continue with our journey, and go as we go beyond into the nether and to the end. But yeah. We are really close to the end, too, because all we need is that the blaze rods yeah. and some uh, pearls. Is it ender pearls? It's ender pearls. From the endermans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, that's it for this. But, uh, yeah, big mistake on our part, thinking that we could build that big of a farm, and we just didn't know what we were getting into. Yeah. Yeah. So, shall we continue? Yes. And without further ado, thank you all for so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.